Some interesting out-of-towners with Montreal connections uh, visiting our fair city today. And our Anna Asimakopoulos slid through the slippery streets to meet them all. You were chasing people all day, and I'm glad you made it back in one piece. <laughs> I did. It was kind of <laughs> challenging, though. I have to tell you, Alan Hawko is in town. He's the star and creator of the hit CBC series, The Republic of Doyle. But first, I have to tell you about the beauty queen. Miss America is here because of her wardrobe. Just last month, Teresa Scanlon was crowned Miss America. One of the perks, a whole new wardrobe designed by Montreal's Joseph Ripkoff. All year long, when I, we're traveling all over the country and the world as well, we will be wearing everything by Joseph Ribkoff. It's really great that they sponsor us this year. It takes care of a lot of troubles with me and traveling all the time. A matter of convenience for Miss America and a whole lot of visibility for the Montreal-based company, which has expanded to 750 employees worldwide and sells in 23 countries, including India and Brazil. It's about exposing their style, their company, to the world, and so it's really neat to be able to do that for them. It's been a really, really positive experience for the company. Company reps will not disclose how much money the Miss America sponsorship costs, but evidently it's worth it. Joseph Ribkoff has just signed a three-year deal with the pageant. I'm the representative for them, their fashion correspondent. So um, representing Joseph Ribkoff is really incredible for me. Um, representing younger women also, which their company does a great job of appealing to all ages and women. And so it's really neat to showcase that as well. Okay, for the last